Hey guys, so today what I'm trying to do is see if I can make pour over coffee here in the minivan camper. I just recently upgraded to a 1000 watt portable power station, which gives me a lot more power, but now I need to figure out where to put it. It's about as wide almost as that passenger seat. So the rails are, you have your rail right there and your rail right there. The issue with this power station is it is massive. I'm happy to have the extended battery range, but now I need to figure out where I'm gonna be able to put this. So normally I fit this power station. I have a 500 watt rock pals that fits perfectly in this spot and it fits right here, but I can see just by looking at it, there's no way that'll fit there. And usually I have this bed all the way back because I don't have my mini fridge in right now. The bed has slowly slid forward. This is a massive power station. And I just got to figure out what I'm going to do with it. The main reason I wanted to upgrade to at least a thousand watt portable power station is that I like to drink a lot of coffee. I usually make my coffee either with like a jet boil style stove that I have, which is a fire maple, or I use my percolator. And to use those two, it does require an open flame. But occasionally I just want to be able to pop in my burner, turn it on get my boiling water and make my coffee. To make pour over coffee, I have this Brim coffee maker. I picked up at like a home goods store on clearance. I think I paid about 30 or $40 for it. It works great when I have good power, but for the smaller power stations, it usually does not work. If I can get the water to boil, then I probably won't use the fire maple or the percolator anymore unless I'm running low on electricity. This Brim coffee maker is rated at about a thousand watts. This thing is also rated at a continuous thousand watts. So we'll see if it actually works. Get some water in here. Just for today, I'm gonna do a half a cup. So we've got this, I put this lid on in case I spill it. Well, I've got to turn on the AC outlet. Two hundred and three degrees Fahrenheit, so that's what I want. We immediately go up to about eight hundred and forty. That fan's kicking on, no problems there. I did charge the portable power station up completely before I came out today just so I can see kind of how much power does it take me to make one cup of coffee. So I have a filter here. But this just goes in here. I'm definitely not a professional coffee maker. I use one of these scoops of coffee grains in each single cup of coffee. And so I have everything prepared here. In a minute here, I'll set it on the floorboard so I don't spill it everywhere if I spill it, or I don't spill it on my bed at least. And when this is done boiling, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and make my pour over coffee. So I can just kind of hear the water just barely boiling. And what they say to do is get the boundary of the water of the filter wet and then soak all the grains. let that sit for a second. If you're a pour over pro, you'll probably say, hey, I have to have one continuous pour for the entire duration. In the end, this is like your really basic cheap coffee. Now that I've stopped pouring, I wanna make sure I get all of these greens off the edge. So I put that back on there. Now I am gonna go ahead and turn that off. We used about 5% of the battery life to try to make a cup of coffee. So I'll give it a couple more minutes to finish brewing. Oh, almost full. So I think the coffee's done. This little coffee, you know, pour over thing, I could rinse it off. It has some coffee flavoring on it. But what I can do now is just set it in here. And there is basically a perfect cup of steamy coffee that I'm gonna be able to sit here and enjoy for a few minutes. I like these metal coffee cups because they don't get smashed. Stuff goes crashing around if it's not tied down properly. And I don't wanna be breaking glass. So I just wanted to say thanks to my special film crew that came out with me today. You're welcome. The biggest issue with a minivan camper is space. 
So the bigger something is or the more of something that I have, the more I have to give up something else to make room for that. If I was gonna start the process of building a minivan camper from scratch again, I would try to go with a larger capacity battery, such as a 1000 or even a 1500 watt hour battery. And the reason is there are places where maybe you don't have access to solar power or you don't have access to shore power that having that extended range will really eliminate any kind of battery anxiety that you could encounter. I do understand that that's not within everybody's budget. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe and I'll see you on my next adventure.